Hey y'all, it's Brandon with Voodoo Forge. Now I don't know what it's doing where you're from, but here in Tennessee, it decided to get cold all of a sudden. Uh, I, I've never been to this point in November and still seen uh, every tree with leaves on it, uh, but it, it's been warm, it's been toasty, it was 80 degrees yesterday, and it's uh, down in the 40s right now, it's gonna get down in the 30s tonight. It got down in the 30s last night. So, I guess uh, we're just going to skip fall this year. But uh, uh, the reason why I'm making this video is I got home. I had to, had to go down to Georgia today to get with my IT guy or try and get my website up and going. It's, it's been an ongoing process, but he's a good guy. And, and we're going to get all that taken care of. But when I got back, it's time to roll the door down in the shop. Uh, I'm sure you've noticed that uh, when I'm forging my forges, there's a big roll-up door there. Uh, normally, what I do is the table that the forge has been sitting on, I would move it into the shop. But this summer, I got my big bandsaw. Uh, so the spot where that table was no longer exists. Well, at the same auction where I got my big bandsaw, there were a bunch of... Uh, tire inflating stations out there. Okay, apparently um, tractor trailer rims come in two pieces and when they inflate them, they would put them in these things to uh, keep them, if they, if they blew, it would keep them from going everywhere. Well, this was uh, my mentor's auction and, and he had them, he was gonna turn them into bicycle racks, like weld and add to them and turn them into bicycle racks. Well, there were four of these things in a pile and the bid was three dollars and nobody would bid on it so I bid on it so I, I got uh, three of the type that I used uh, to make my my new stand and uh, and a different one that I'm planning on making the table out of later but I've been planning on making a stand to put the forge on that has a smaller footprint than that table and uh, since it was a chilly night this seemed like the perfect opportunity so this is, uh, I used uh, some scrap uh, sheet metal that was left over from a job and that stand, the angle iron and uh, quarter by one inch stock that I used was new material but the sheet metal and the stand itself uh, were in fact uh, scrap. So uh, let me show you what I did right quick. Okay, so this is gonna be the base of my stand for the forge. Okay, so as I started cutting these, they started going swing, 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 and so they're not nice and, and level like they're supposed to be. So I'm gonna take a different tact with this. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna weld some angle iron across here, uh, clean these up, and then weld angle iron, get the angle iron to where it is uh, level compared to the floor and uh, then put my plate on, on, uh, on there. I'm not gonna count on these being level and I'm not gonna cut them again because eh, that's why. As it would turn out, I had way more uh, quarter inch by one inch flat stock than angle iron, so I needed the angle iron to go around the, the table top, so I'm using the uh, quarter by one here, I've got this clamped on and level. This is the highest one. So they'll all be based off this one once I weld it up. taken my one inch angle iron and uh, cut it on 45s to fit around it. 
Now where I cut it with a torch, the small piece that I'm, I'm using for the tabletop here warped. So what I'm doing is I'm, I'm clamping it to this angle iron and I'm gonna tack it all the way around and and check and see if that flattens out that uh, metal before I, I give it a hard weld all the way around. Okay, I got it tacked up and it seems to have totally flattened out the uh, sheet metal. So now I'm gonna go around and give everything some good solid beads all the way around and hit all the corners. So here's to it. got it on here everything's level everything's good so I'm gonna make it on here now well it's all done and I've got the forge on it I'll probably paint it this uh, frees up the uh, steel table the forge was on and uh, I'm going to build a vice stand for the vice there uh, so it can be a little bit more useful. I'll probably keep that table outside so I have a welding table outside. Alright, well that's all there was to that. Got the uh, door down now. It's starting to warm up in here a little bit. Uh, one thing I would like to just tell you real quick. When I was welding to the uh, tire stand, uh, it was hot dip galvanized. So it had a zinc coating. I, didn't, I had ground it off the outside. I wasn't counting on it being on the inside of the tubing. So you can't really tell it in the video, but when I discovered that, I did have a fan blowing and I was not breathing that. I would leave the area, take a breath, come back and weld a little more. Uh, the best thing to have done would have been to switched out to uh, flux core wire and taken it outside, but I didn't have a whole lot to weld on it. Do not weld galvanized, do not forge galvanized. It, it puts off toxic fumes. The, the zinc coating puts off toxic fumes. Um, and it, it'll, it'll cause you problems. Uh, not, uh, it, it can kill you. You have to already be in a pretty distressed state for it to do that or just weld on it for a long time. But uh, just avoid galvanized. In a few of my other videos, I have like weld bolts and stuff, and I show you how to remove it using vinegar. But anyway, the stand's done. It's, it's great. I love it. Uh, that forge, that's a majestic forge. I got that last spring. Um, let me put it this way. With, with uh, majestic forges, you get what you pay for. It is an inexpensive forge. So uh, I'm not... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use it until it's totally destroyed, but it probably won't be around long. Uh, anyway, I hope y'all got something out of this uh, video. If you'd like to see more videos like this, uh, please subscribe to the channel and, and like the video down there, wherever you do that. Uh, like the video, that helps me out. Uh, but anyway, y'all behave yourselves now.